All right, what a difference a day makes. The rain is gone, so blue skies are back. And, Jeff, those storms that we had yesterday created a, some wild weather in Van Zandt County. Yeah, we had several severe thunderstorm warnings, a lot of wind gusts, some hail as well. And the Weather Service has been shown quite a bit of video and photos of what is a possible tornado. But at the same time, it's also very much possible that what we had is called a gust NATO. And we mentioned this earlier. There is a difference between a tornado and a gust NATO, even though they look similar. Basically, let me show you what a gust NATO does. And what happens in a tornado is that attached to the cloud, we get a funnel and then eventually a tornado that hits the ground. Yesterday, these storms were creating a lot of wind. The winds were rushing out of the storm, a lot of straight line wind around 50 to 60 miles an hour. And as these winds hit the surface, at, uh, disattached from the cloud, we can get these little spin up gust NATOs. So the Gus NATOs are small little rotations and usually produce relatively minor damage, but they are not attached to the actual cloud like a tornado is, and that's the telltale sign. If you see those little spin ups ahead of our main storm system, a lot of times those are not attached to the clouds, and those are called gust NATOs, and they can do EF0 type of da uh, damage. So we're talking about relatively minor damage, and that's possible what happened in Van Zandt County yesterday. The Weather Service will give us more information hopefully later on today about that. Here's a look outside right now. We do have the clouds, and this is kind of going to be the trend for the day. We'll see the clouds, and then they'll move out, and then more clouds will move in. So kind of a sun cloud mix. Temperatures in the lower to mid 70s right now. It's a mild start to the day. The temperatures will climb into the upper 70s, lower 80s as we get into the afternoon. But it will be windy today. That is not going to change. North winds up to 30 miles an hour. But it is drier air that's moving in. Tomorrow, lots of sunshine, lighter winds out of the east and highs in the lower to mid 80s. Hopefully you have outdoor plans tomorrow, and if not tomorrow, hopefully Sunday for Mother's Day. Temperatures will be a bit warmer Sunday. In fact, quite a bit warmer west of Fort Worth with temperatures in the upper 80s in the Metroplex, maybe as hot as 93 or 94 out toward Graham and Breckenridge. Here's a look at the entire day for Mother's Day. As you make those plans for picnics, barbecues, maybe lunch outdoors for mom. 62 Sunday morning, 83 by noon, and then highs in the upper 80s during the afternoon. Very warm. No rain this weekend, completely dry, so you can make those outdoor plans without worries for needing the rain gear. But it's been fairly dry for us since we started May. Only four one hundredths of an inch of rain. That's a deficit of 1.7 inches. So far this year, we're also running a, a deficit of nearly two inches since the beginning of January. And I don't see any more rain in our forecast until the middle of next week. Tuesday, best chance of storms will be west of the Dallas Fort Worth area. A slightly better chance of storms on Wednesday. I think the best chance of storms may actually hold off until Thursday and Friday of next week. Some of those storms could be on the strong side, but we still have plenty of time before we get there to be able to fine tune that forecast. Today, though, drier, north winds up to 30 miles an hour, certainly a windy day, partly to mostly cloudy, a high of 79. Lots of sun tomorrow, though, in 83, up to 89 on Mother's Day, 91 on Monday, and then storm chances kick in Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week.